Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is to try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses. So for further information and uh, details about how to join us for as little as $9 a month and also get access to an exclusive in-depth strategy video, information is available in the description below. In the previous video, we did a stock update on Tixamal TBLT and also MNTLP. So please refer back to the previous video for updates on both. In today's video, we're going to do a be doing another update on Tixamal MMTLP, looking at potential strategy going forward and also some concerns which I want to address. So before we do that, I'm going to have a quick uh, reminder in terms of what happened, close of play in the markets last week. So quick headline here from Reuters. We saw a good start to the week. Uh, however, on the Friday, uh, there was a decline in the markets and the headline we can see here is that stocks did fall after touching a six week high and the dollar was um, weaker after US data was released. Uh, in terms of the overall week, the Dow was up 1.96%, the S&P was up 2.56% and the Nasdaq was up just in excess of 3.3%. So let's see what happens going forward this week. So before we look at tick symbol MMTLP, I'm going to be sharing a post here from George for Metamaterials MMAT and it has been a while before George has shared some of his thoughts but this one is positive so let's have a look at what he said. He said here we're getting closer to a day when uh, the smart big data companies will be at our doorstep as an MMAT customer. They will be using our up and coming AI tech to, product, to predict and visualize supply and demand imbalances and much more. Think Palantir on steroids, the key difference will be our HW. So uh, the question here is what is HW? So we'll look at that shortly, but this is certainly a very bullish and promising post. Again, uh, I think most investors will be looking for a bit more substance to this. It is uh, obviously promising and suggesting something very, very bullish going forward. Hopefully this is true, but let's now have a look at uh, some indications and potential suggestions for HW. So obviously George has finished off the tweet by saying HW. So I'm going to give a shout out here to the tofu smuggler. And he said, uh, again, tagging in George, what is HW? So he suggested hardware, health and welfare, hot water, hours per week, homework, husband and wife, uh, house Wilson, hours and wages, homes and Watson. Uh, I think one thing I would like to uh, make a request for is maybe Kakramonikan could suggest uh, something what the HW may stand for. Maybe we're looking at hot water, maybe we're looking at hips and waist, I don't know. Uh, but I, I, I think the official answer is probably going to be hardware. The next thing I'd like to do is give a shout out to StockCube on Twitter who went down to the Farnborough Air Show. There was a presentation from Meta Materials there. Unfortunately, he didn't get to meet George, but uh, let's have a look at his post. He said, hey, I had a great casual but inform informative chat with Dr. Antonia Dardis and Dr. Chester. The excitement in both of their voices when speaking was very uplifting. So he's going to upload pictures uh, later. So obviously we'll stay tuned for that. But there is a quotation here from Dr. Antoniadis, and this is, be patient, it's coming. So again, very bullish. Let's hope uh, this uh, statement with regard to it's coming is in 2022. Let's now move on to have a look at Tixam MMTLP. I am going to be sharing with you a potential plan that you may wish to use. Before we do that, there is another area of concern that I think I'd like to look at. And that is uh, based on a number of comments and posts on social media, I have uh, come across some issues with regard to people who have had difficulty buying and selling. So this is obviously applicable to people who can trade MMTLP. Unfortunately, people uh, like including myself on uh, trading two on two are unable to trade. But again, uh, we certainly hope there is a run up and hopefully anybody who takes a good opportunity to uh, benefit from any potential squeeze is able to do so. So let's uh, have first of all, have a look at some concerns with regard to people who are having uh, pos uh, problems with regard to transactions. So shout out here to A Mercy. He said, I couldn't sell today on Webull. The sell button wasn't their opinion. So I'm not sure what's going on. Is there anything underhand? Not sure. Uh, so again, any more, any further opinions on that will be uh, welcome. 
Pam has also said, uh, I also tried it with Weedbull account and put in a sell and couldn't. Totally locked out to sell MMTLP. So she's going to be calling on Monday to find out what's going on and has the BS started. So uh, BS, um, I'm not sure, is that bus stop or something else? Uh, well, let's uh, come to, back to that later. And John Con has uh, stated here, you can go through the cell phone app website. It's not letting me sell now. So this is not just one investor is a number of investors so let's have a look at some more uh, and we can see here uh, big chris doc swami has also said they are making it difficult to log on uh, to fidelity just log on to the app to begin with there is a problem that has occurred with for me for quite some time especially over the last three weeks but once in a while it lets me log in and then it's fine so obviously there is some uh, thing temperamental going on DM here says I couldn't sell either. Thank you. So it's not just the odd occasion. Uh, we are having a, a number of instances. And the final one is uh, Dana. On, as I said, Robinhood cancelled my limit order without notice. So one thing that I will say is certainly contact your brokers and make sure if you are able to benefit from a potential run up uh, that your broker is aware uh, that um, obviously you would like to sell at a certain price and hopefully there are no issues. And final thing I'd like to do is share with you a potential plan going forward. So uh, I did post today, so I'm going to share with you an important link on my post there if anybody wants to have a look at this link. Uh, and this is a direct link to the SEC. So the post here is uh, Nextbridge as an individual investor, you may have three choices when it comes to holding your common stock in the private company uh, Nextbridge. So you've got options of physical, physical certificate, street name registration or direct registration. You can carry out your own DD at that link. Uh, we had a quick response from Gray and he said uh, very, very simple and quick option that worked for him. Uh, again, feedback for anybody else who wants to do this uh, would be appreciated as well. So this is his plan. He's going to DRS, direct registration he shares with AST, the American Stock Transfer. He's going to do that by three steps. Number one, call the broker, instruct them to transfer the shares to AST. Number two, call AST, copy, copy them into the transfer instruction. And that's it sorry two steps there so let's summarize the overall plan that you may want to consider and uh, the the key difference in terms of this plan is this is something that you carry out can carry out before or after the release of the s1 so you can do this right now or you can do this after but again it does depend on your broker because some brokers are not allowing any um uh, transfer and not allowing any uh, communications with regard to what's going on because some of them uh, are a little bit vague and uh, are also saying that they want to wait for the S1. But here's the plan. Decide how much MMTLP you want to either buy, hold or sell. So these are your options. And by what date? Be aware of the settlement time needed if buying MMTLP before the ex-dividend date. So again, so remember the MMTLP shares eventually will be uh, have a value of zero so that's something important to bear in mind because these are going to be moving over to um next bridge as common stock private company mmtlp will no longer exist it will no longer be on the otc it will be gone forever uh, second thing here contact your broker before and after s1 approval to clarify procedures and ask them how long it may take to transfer to ast uh, and thirdly, understand the different options to transfer shares with AST. See that tweet that I just shared you. There is a link there. And then finally, you can implement your plan. So a, a plan is necessary, even though your plan may involve just one strategy. And finally, just to finish off, a quick reminder in terms of our weekly watch list. This is going to be shared with the Discord members exclusively tomorrow. So if anybody would like to get access to that prior to trading on the Monday, you can join the Discord for as little as $9 a month. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.